A lot of people want to blame the engine guys and the transmission guys, especially Turbo 400s, for their torn up thrust bearing, torn up thrust bearing, torn up thrust bearing. I've been there, I tore up a thrust, a thrust bearing the minute I got a trans brake, and next thing you know, I didn't even know it was gone until I went to turbocharge the engine, and I went to pull the pistons out to gap the rings, and my whole crank slid forward. Like, what was that? But, come to find out, it wasn't my transmission, it wasn't anything to do with the engine, anything, I just checked the gap between that, and that was three years ago. I just checked the gap between it, and it's been fine ever since. That junk yard engine that I was pushing 900 horsepower, it's still over there in the corner. I took it out. Wasn't nothing wrong with that. I took it out because I wanted to put this one in. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how you check that gap, okay? You might not wanna hear it. And incorrect installation could be your failure. And here's how you wanna check. They say you wanna have at least an eighth inch gap between your crank, the bottom of your crank, and your hub, on your torque converter, you can see it. I think I'm gonna need to grease my bearings on my trailer anyway, that's why I bought it. Slide it in there. Line it up to where it's gonna bow that. How far are we now? That measure I'd say to me that looks like about half an inch that went inside. Half an inch. That looks like I got about five eighths deep. Five eighths deep. So we double check and see it again. So let's do this one. Let's put it. Right now, you can see now where it came down to. Yep, it looks like we got about a half inch again. So I have a five eighths. Uh, depthness in the back of my crank. Um, and you should track the 5 eighths minus a half an inch. So I'll be good. I'm good to bolt this up. It's not gonna bottom out. I shouldn't kill a thrust there. But that's just the easy way for you guys to check. It's the easy way for you guys to check. It's the easy way for you guys to check. It's the easy way for you guys to check. Grease on the back of your hub. All right. You just slide your torque converter on. It should push the grease down to a point here. You measure that, however deep that is, and subtract it from the depth inside your crank, and that'll give you your space that's in there. All right? So then you'll know you have a gap and you won't be bottoming out. It's going to leak out a little bit, but that's fine. bit. Now make sure it's pushed all the way back. 
Then I'll get this thing in the car. Make sure it's pushed all the way back. Oh. There we go. Oh, we just spin it and push it. Make sure it's all the way back. Couple spins, push at the same time, all the way back. Alright, she in there. And then I'm in the leaking mold because I'm pumping stuff out the side of it. Let's see. Just put a cap on that. So it leak everything out. I'm gonna get a cap. I know I got one around here somewhere. Alright, here we go. I got a smaller one. This should fit good. Keep that thing from leaking. I'm watching it. Crazy about getting the transmission fluid smells in the house. All right, now let's slide this bad boy up and bolt it up. And we're gonna slide it in there as one piece. Yeah. 